What What's your view on ICOs in general? Um, do you Sorry? have your view on ICOs, uh, initial coin offerings? Initial coin offerings, yes. And uh, are there any initial coin offerings you're very interested in and why? <laughs> Great question. Um, So initial, who knows what initial coins offerings are? Okay, great, great. Um, I think one day uh, in the distant future, the possibility of being able to fund new initiatives and create ventures on a global basis without the traditional limitations is going to open opportunities for companies that have never had opportunities before. Um, the problem is that first investors will have to run the gauntlet and swim in these infested, shark-infested waters, full of these unscrupulous people who are taking their shitcoin and making an initial offering, whose primary purpose is not to add funding for a worthwhile project that is already achieving success, etc. It's not to generate value or um, take growth to a next level for something that is already worthwhile. They smell money in the water and they come like sharks. I would say at least 95 percent of the ICOs out there have no basis, fundamentals, or anything like that. Now, does that mean that we should have a regulatory agency that says, that's a good one, that's a crap one? No, we've tried that. They said, that's a good one about Madoff's Ponzi. Right? That doesn't work either. But it will require much more maturity among investors to learn how to identify things that are Ponzi's. One great way you get that education is by losing your money. <laughs> right? and eventually, we are going to have a bit of a clear-out in this space. Part of the business cycle is every now and then you have what is hopefully a minor forest fire. and It clears out all of the brush and dead leaves at the bottom of the forest, and doesn't kill too many of the trees. And it makes the system much more healthy. We haven't had that in the stock markets in, in eight years, and it's beginning to show. And it's going to be very bad when it happens because the market um, forces have not allowed it to happen by doing stimulus. I expect we're going to have a great washout in ICOs too, when investment is going to dry up. Maybe it will take dropping the valuations of some of the coins that are feeding into these ICOs. That will be a good thing. A bunch of investors will lose their money, they will learn a lesson, the next round of investors will go into this with much more conservative attitudes. And then four or five years later, they will completely forget the lesson and have to learn it all over again. That is the way it works. It is the way it works in markets. Look at the S&P 500 right now. It is as if recessions never happen. It is never going to happen again. There are traders in the S&P 500, 30 year old people who have never traded in an interest rate environment above 1% in their lives as traders. Imagine that for a moment. So the spigots have been fully open the entire lifetime of their trading, and that's now the majority of traders. They're about to have a rude awakening. In ICOs right now, You've got um, Bitcoin and Ethereum that are generating tremendous gains for people who have invested early. And they're taking those gains and they're like, where do I invest this money? And that's feeding into both blockchains that really shouldn't be funded and cryptocurrencies that really shouldn't be funded that have nothing to offer, and a lot of scammy ICOs. I'm not going to say they're all scammy, 
I'm sure there are some that are very interesting. I'm sure if I named them, I'm going to get a lot of flack for not naming your favorite one. And if one of them turns out to be a scam, it was all my fault. <laughs> so I'm not going to name any of them. But what I'm going to say is, you have to be careful. A lot of these ICOs are promising great riches. And the one thing you can be sure of is someone's promising you get great riches. They're talking about themselves. <laughs> like this ICO is going to make all of us, and by all of us I mean mostly me, rich. Don't believe it. Um, if one of these things has a viable product to offer, then write more of that code and less of the ICO code until you actually need funds for organic growth. How about build it first, then they will come, rather than fund it first, then we'll build it later. So I am very, very skeptical. In general, don't look at this as a space for investment. This is not a space for investment. This is a technology. It is an unstable, volatile technology with a lot of drama, a lot of drama, right? And a lot of volatility. I I don't invest in these things as an investment. I use these currencies as a technology. I use them as a currency. And if I get paid and I get paid in Bitcoin and it's $20, and I get paid in Bitcoin, and its exchange rate is $2,000. It makes no difference to me. Right? I might lose some of my savings, but that's not why I'm in this space. So be very, very careful. Um, learn. Don't trade. Learn. Thank you. Thank you.